In Sardinia, at approximately 40 kilometers north of the city of Cagliari, in the area of Branus Anguni, in the township of San Basilio, an impressive scientific system named SRT is undergoing its phase of completion, the Sardinia Radio Telescope. A huge radio telescope designed for applications in the field of radio astronomy, geodynamics and space sciences, which configures itself as an international facility with the highest profile. Lo strumento che stiamo costruendo è un radio telescopio, quindi uno strumento fatto per misurare i deboli segnali radio che provengono dal profondo universo. Oggi sappiamo che gli oggetti cosmici, le galassie, le pulsar, le quasar, i buchi neri non solo emettono luce visibile, ma gli oggetti cosmici emettono anche onde elettromagnetiche in tutto lo spettro e quindi anche nella banda radio. La banda radio fornisce informazioni preziosissime sulla fisica di questi oggetti e quindi sull'evoluzione di questi oggetti, sull'evoluzione dell'universo. To carry out the assembly of this complex mechanical structure, mostly local and highly skilled labor has been used, but also exceptional lifting means coming from Northern Europe. The SRT project has been prevalently financed by the Ministry of University and Research, the Italian Space Agency and the Autonomous Region of Sardinia. The implementing subject is the National Institute of Astrophysics. Though three of its research facilities, the Astronomical Observatory in Cagliari, the structure of reference of the Institute in Sardinia, the Institute of Radio Astronomy in Bologna, which represents the national reference in terms of radio astronomy, both on European level and international level, and the Astrophysics Observatory of Arcetri in Florence. The engineering project belongs to the company Vertex RSI of Santa Clara in the United States. The prime contractor for the construction of the electromechanical structure is the German company MT Mechatronics. MT Mechatronics is a specialized company acting worldwide in designing and constructing large radio telescopes, high precision communication antennas and optical telescopes. While the locally based company that has supplied the labor and the means for the assembly phases on site is ICOM in Cagliari. Questo che vedete è un progetto internazionale nel quale la ICOM si trova coinvolta da diversi anni ed è un progetto di una notevole di un notevole livello standard tecnologico. Il nostro più grosso orgoglio è il fatto di aver coinvolto soltanto maestranze locali. The metal elements that make up the structure of the radio telescope have been designed in Germany, fabricated in Egypt, and then transported to Sardinia. To carry out the assembling and the lifting operations, careful engineering has been necessary, and extensive works entirely carried out in the construction site. Abbiamo fatto circa 7000 saldature sulla parte dell'antenna e un migliaio sulla lidata e la ruota di elevazione. SRT, the Sardinia Radio Telescope, is a highly sophisticated instrument, distinguished by impressive dimensions. The surface of the parabolic antenna has a diameter of 64 meters, almost equal to that of a soccer field, and is made up of 1,000 aluminium panels, controlled by an intricate system of precision mechanical actuators. This feature allows to change the surface of the primary mirror, in order to compensate the thermal and gravitational deformations and constantly maintain the utmost efficiency and the highest radio frequencies. The large collection area of the parabolic antenna is a decisive factor for this type of instruments because it allows to detect incredibly weak radio signals such as those originating from the depth of the universe. It further offers a high resolving power in other words, it allows to distinguish extraordinary detail of the cosmic surface. Furthermore, the Sardinia telescope can be used to track spacecrafts, a program in which the Italian Space Agency is interested, on the basis of its collaboration with international space agencies. The parabolic antenna has been assembled on ground due to the obvious difficulties that an assembly at an altitude of structure with so large dimensions would entail. To position the parabolic antenna on its support, the use of a large crane is necessary, one of the few of its kind in the world. This assignment has been commissioned to the world leading company specialized in the lifting and transportation of exceptional loads.
olandese specializzata nell'ingegneria del sollevamento del grande trasporto eccezionali. Utilizziamo una gru da 1350 tonnellate che ha delle dimensioni molto particolari. Un cingolo è lungo 14 metri per una larghezza di 2 e un'altezza di 2,50 m e pesa più di 71 tonnellate. In totale per poter trasportare questa gru in questa configurazione ci sono voluti quasi 100 camion, quindi anche lo studio del percorso per poter raggiungere questa locazione è stato diciamo, valutato con notevole attenzione. Questa gru poi però è stata comunque costruita in maniera da poter essere trasportata, quindi tutto quanto che noi vediamo ha comunque degli agganci rapidi ed è stato possibile poi anche con gli spazi ristretti che ci dà il cantiere poterla assemblare per poter poi fare il sollevamento. Thanks to sophisticated electronic control systems, the crane allows to make micrometric maneuvers in spite of the imposing dimensions and weight of the parabolic antenna. Let's see, uh, Primo, I can see my winches. Very important that I don't go from one side to another side because you want the winches always go straight on the, on the line. And yeah, I can see pretty much everything. The sollevamento della parabola costituisce un evento di notevole importanza sia per il peso del, del pezzo che andiamo a sollevare sia per il volume. Stiamo parlando di una parabola da 64 metri di diametro con un peso molto consistente, 500 tonnellate. Per poterla sollevare in questo momento verrà agganciata con un sistema di funi al gancio principale. Sarà una prima fase di sollevamento ad una quota prossima al, al terreno. La fase successiva è la fase di traslazione su cingoli durante la quale la, la grossa gru che sarà coinvolta nel sollevamento traslerà per circa 10 metri su un layout eseguito con del legname particolare. Poi ci sarà una fase di sollevamento fino alla quota finale di 70 metri, la rotazione finale che vedrà la parabola proiettarsi definitivamente sulla struttura e poi il posizionamento e il fissaggio finale. To carry out the lifting operations, favorable meteorological conditions are essential. Wind, even mild, and rain would make the operations too risky. After weeks of atmospheric disturbances, which have made works and extraction site travel some, a winter clear weather has opened on the extraction site of Pranus Anguni. Siamo nella fase conclusiva, stiamo saldando i golfari di sollevamento dove verranno attaccate le braghe della gru per fare il sollevamento dell'antenna e il posizionamento data sulla loro elevazione. Works to complete the operations necessary to position the large parabolic antenna on the structure run busily throughout the entire evening. Finally, at dawn, staff is ready for the lifting operations. There is much tension in the extraction site and at the same time, great enthusiasm. It's the first time ever that a parabolic antenna with these dimensions is erected at an altitude with a single lifting operation.
Thanks to the perfect weather and the total absence of wind, the lifting was completed in less than an hour. Operations to fasten the parabolic antenna on the support base of the radio telescope begin immediately. Once the parabolic antenna is installed, the height of the structure reaches up to 50 meters. The most spectacular operation has been completed. There now only remains to position the quadrupod, which sustains the most important part of the system at the center of the parabolic antenna, the high-tech unit made up of a secondary reflector and minor server systems. I'm here in the project uh, for the measurements, the precise measurements, especially here on the sub-reflector you see here. Um, we take the measurement uh, with the photogrammetry system. That means we took a lot of pictures of the object and calculate in the software the 3D coordinates of each point. The next step is the mechanical engineers um, adjust the panels and bring it in a good shape. That means the surface is completely like a parabola. And that that accuracy is necessary to, to reach a good quality on the signals uh, you, we get from the Earth, or from the, from the uh, space. Um, and uh, that means my, the quality of the measurements is one important part of this project, because it uh, gives you, um, of the, uh, the performance of the telescope depends on the accuracy of my measurements, here on the sub-reflector and later on the main reflector too. The secondary reflector as well, with its minor server system, has been pre-assembled on the quadrupod and ground. In spite of the fact that the quadrupod weighs considerably less than the parabolic antenna, the lifting operations are nonetheless difficult due to dimensions and deformability of the structure, which could create problems when the time comes to fasten the parabolic antenna. Once again, the perfect meteorological conditions have allowed to complete the lifting operations ahead of time than what scheduled at the onset. The nervous strain built up during the works is gradually replaced by the marked awareness that a significant step has been achieved toward the final completion of the structure. Once the quadrupod is installed with the secondary reflector, the overall height of the structure reaches up to 70 meters. Today, 30th of May, we completed uh, a very important milestone for the radio telescope in Sardinia. Il grande radiotelescopio SRT è ormai pronto per essere messo in funzione. Si tratta di uno dei radiotelescopi più avanzati d'Europa e scienziati da tutto il mondo ne chiederanno l'utilizzo. Siamo certi che nei prossimi anni assisteremo a entusiasmanti scoperte sulla natura e l'origine dell'universo. <totipo>